What's up guys? So you've seen me obsess over Joe previously. This is the Joe I will never leave because it lasts longer than 8 seconds. If you know, you know. Well, the star of today is something you'll never see in stores anymore. This is the iPod Shuffle, the fourth and last generation of its kind. So sad. And it's my go-to retro music player. But before we start, this video is brought to you by Good Deals by KLGG, our official e-store where you can get all kinds of awesome gadgets. You can get 10 ringgit off your first purchase and also enjoy 0% installment on our store with IOU Pay and Atomi. Visit the link below for more information. It's not like the iPod Shuffle was launched back in the 1980s, but it has been 11 years since it made its debut. So if I were to choose an MP3 player for the rest of my life, this is it. Why? Because it's this small. It's small. Okay, so the reason why I am so sad on the iPod Shuffle is because it's so lightweight, so tiny, so thin, that is the best music player to bring along wherever you go. You can just slide it in your pocket and you barely feel it. But if you're a hardcore Apple fan, you know that's not the right way to treat your iPod Shuffle. The right way to use the iPod Shuffle is to flaunt it. And that is the other reason why I love it so much because of its clip-on design. You can clip it on your shirt, your sleeve, your pants, your skirt, your ear or even your hair because it's cool as hell and an undefeatable accessory. Imagine being in an LRT or MRT, um, your iPod is clipped onto your jeans pocket, your earphones are blasting your favourite music. I think it just feels like an iconic moment to me, you know? But then again, COVID-19 is going berserk in Malaysia, so please, just, just stay iconic at home for now. I'd also stick with the iPod Shuffle for moments when I need music but don't want to be distracted. What I mean is, the iPod is such a specific device that it doesn't offer any extra features like your phone or smartwatch. You won't be getting notification which leads to endless scrolling on social media or continuous conversations. Of course, that also means you should be disciplined enough to keep yourself away from your other devices. There's no display on this iPod, nothing to visually distract you, just simple buttons that lets you control your music playback. Last but not least, it is an affordable device with decent storage and good battery life. So it used to be below 200 ringgit, which is cheaper than some of the ANC wireless earbuds you can get in the market right now. And if you compare this to the iPod Touch, the iPod Touch will cost you 899 ringgit and look like an iPhone. Bringing out the iPod Touch will be like bringing out two phones, which is heavy and unnecessary. Now, even though the iPod Shuffle only comes with 2GB of storage, that's still enough to store you about 500 songs, which is what some of these smartwatches are offering these days. So despite it being a decade after its launch, the iPod Shuffle remains a practical music player. Plus, it offers about 15 hours of playback on a single charge, so you don't have to charge it every one or two days like your Apple Watch or iPhone. But the downside to the current iPod Shuffle is the extra steps I need to transfer music files into this. So I either need to um, purchase song from iTunes Store and drag and drop into the iPod, or I need to rip off songs from a CD. It is unfortunate that Apple discontinued the iPod Shuffle. I really wish they bring back this tiny device, perhaps something like the iPod Nano 2010 which has a simple touchscreen display but with built-in apps like Apple Music and Spotify and one that supports Bluetooth and Wi-Fi so you can also connect it to wireless earbuds. So that's it for my go-to today. Let us know if you'll be excited if the iPod Shuffle decides to make a comeback. Give this video a thumbs up and as usual, subscribe to our channel KL Gadget TV and I will see you next time. Bye!